Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or business or true skin health products or ingredients, formulations, or if you just have a success story you'd like to share or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all your favorite longevity products off our websites or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team if that's what you want to do for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, be in business for yourself, earn thank you checks associated with having your own business, make your own hours, offer a one-time $25 fee. If you just want to get your product at the wholesale price, just for $25, you can uh, get your products wholesale. You can participate as little or as much as you like, offer $25. If nutritional supplementation has helped you in your life, if you've noticed benefits from, from nutritional supplementation, if you've lost weight, if you quit smoking cigarettes, if you've reduced your, uh, your prescription drugs, if you've stopped taking your prescription drugs because of, uh, because of uh, the power of the longevity supplements, now pay it forward. Help other folks. That's what it's all about is helping other, other people. Zig Ziglar said, we can get what we want if we help other people get what they want. I 100% believe that. All that matters is, at the end of the day, is how much you gave back. And with longevity and the longevity business, you now have a business that allows you to give back. Call 866-735-2470 for more information. If you're in the Sacramento area, I will be doing a talk this Sunday, June the 10th, 11 a.m. at the Orangevale Community Center, 6826 Hazel Avenue in Orangevale, California. Call 916-712-9504 for more information, 916 916- Seven one two nine five zero four. All right, we're going to talk to uh, my buddy Brian Larson at the bottom of the hour. He's an expert on a molecule that we don't really talk too much about on this program, but it is very likely the most fascinating molecule of all molecules. And I know, I know that's saying something because there's lots of really interesting molecules, but this is in the argument for most fascinating molecule and uh, most multifunctional molecule. And you know I love multifunctionality. It's a molecule that plays a very important role in nutrition, and we don't talk about it a lot. Uh, Brian Larson is an expert on this molecule. He actually has a pet product that features it, and we'll talk about that at the bottom of the hour. We'll, k- we'll get your phone calls uh, in our next segment. I want to continue talking, actually, uh, well, continue, continue talking about the superstar of detoxification, at least the superstar of the detoxification system in the body, and that is glucuronate. Glucuronate. I hope that's not too hard to say because it's really important to, that we understand what this stuff is if we're going to leverage or maximize our body's ability to purify itself. It's an amazing detoxification system in the body that can detoxify hormones and drugs and, uh, and pollutants and cigarette smoke and alcohol and dry cleaning fluid and pretty much you name it. 
pretty much you name it. If it's a toxic molecule, the, the body's detox system can detoxify it. The superstar of the detoxification system is called glucuronate. Your body can make glucuronate, but if you're dealing with health challenges, supporting the body's ability to produce this stuff can be really helpful. And this is where the cruciferous vegetables come in. The, cruci the cruciferous vegetables are the ultimate detoxification food. Brussels sprouts, bok choy, cabbage, um, 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 cauliflower, and the much maligned broccoli are nature's detoxification powerhouses. And if you are uh, under the illusion that you can't do cruciferous, or perhaps you can't do cruciferous vegetables, but most people can. A lot of people think they can't, but most people can. Uh, you should really be enjoying them every day with butter and with salt. It turns out that you can get some uh, glucuronate type substances in citrus fruits too, oranges and grapefruit, grapefruit particularly. Interestingly, this stuff glucuronate that's responsible for this really important uh, step in the detoxification process is very similar to another detoxification molecule that most animals can make, except for guinea pigs, a couple of ape species, the fruit bat, and human beings, and that's vitamin C. Glucuronate is a direct precursor to vitamin C. It gets turned into vitamin C in animals. We have lost the ability to do that. Nobody really knows why we lost the ability to do that. It may have something to do with our ingestion of fruits and other vitamin C containing foods. The body's very economical, and if it doesn't need to make something, it's not going to make it. And uh, The theory is anyway that uh, our ancestors, our primitive ancestors, way, way, way back, uh, lost the ability because they were eating lots of vitamin C-containing C foods. They lost the ability to make this stuff because the body didn't need to make it. No one really knows why, though. In any case, by facilitating this glucuronate process, you can... Uh, support bile excretion. Glucuronate is bile and glu uh, bile is affected by this glucuronate molecule and it helps facilitate the excretion of bile. And that's really what we're, we're talking about here is helping the bo body eliminate bile. When the body eliminates bile, toxic estrogen comes out of the body, antibiotics come out of the body, aspirin comes out of the body, drugs, prescription drugs of all kinds come out of the body. Motrin, anti-inflammatories, all kinds of stuff comes out of the body. Food coloring, food for food processing chemicals, preservatives, artificial sweeteners, cigarette smoke. If you're eating a lot of hot dogs, the nitrates and the nitrates, those are going to come out in the in the bile. So, getting helping the body eliminate bile. What happens is, as the bile is, uh, it, what what here, here's the whole the whole way the whole thing works is bile's made in the liver. It gets pumped into the gallbladder, stored in the gallbladder. You eat you eat food, it drops from your stomach into the intestine. And right at that juncture, where it drops from the stomach into the intestine, it gets hit with a big blast of bile from the gallbladder. That bile has the, uh, does a couple of things. One, the main thing it does is it acts to liberate fats from that stuff that dropped out of the stomach. It's kind of like an, uh, the stuff that comes out of the stomach is, is acid. If you're healthy, it's, it's got a low pH. It's acidic. Bile has a, a relatively high. It's between 7 and 8, so it's kind of alkaline. Some, it's alkaline. And, and then there's pancreatic juices, which are very alkaline, sodium bicarbonate. And there's a whole big alkaline uh, jolt of uh, uh, liquid that uh, hits that stuff that drops out of the stomach into the intestine. And that has, the effect of, uh, has a fizzing effect. The acid hits the base. An acid-base reaction creates fizzing. It's kind of like, uh, there used to be a product, I don't even know if they still make it, called fizzies. Or if you put, uh, uh, if you put, make a solution of baking soda and then apple, add apple cider vinegar to it, or if you make a solution of apple cider vinegar and add baking soda to it, one way or the other, you get a fizzing action. That fizzing action liberates the fats out of the food. And that's what's supposed to happen. Now, then the bile does a little circle. It goes from that intestinal area, it circulates back around and goes back into the gallbladder. And as it's going through the intestine and, and, and uh, doing its little circle, it's clearing things out. It's picking up toxins. And some of it gets dumped out. Some of it gets dumped out in the bowels. It does a big circle. It recycles, except for some of it gets dumped out. If you're healthy. If you're not healthy, it doesn't get dumped out. It just keeps cir circling around and around and around. That's when it gets sludgy. So helping the bile, the bile eliminate, um, uh, get eliminated out of the large intestine as it's doing this little circle is really important. And that's where this stuff, glucuronidation, uh, can be so important. Eliminating that toxy, sludgy bile. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. back 
on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we'll take your calls this segment. We've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. Brian Larson is going to talk about a really super interesting molecule. It's got a lot of health relevance that we don't, you don't ever hear, very rarely hear about this molecule, although you probably will start to hear more and more about it. It was just actually just uh, first uh, synthesized in uh, the 1980s early 1980s. So we've only known about this stuff for about 40 years, although in theory, there's been some theoretical ideas about it for a lot longer than that. We'll talk about that at the bottom of the hour. 844-236-6010 is uh, our number, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. So we're talking about bile uh, before we went to break, just to clarify this, and we'll continue talking about this. Uh, we'll continue talking about this uh, on our next Bright Side episode. Uh, the bile comes out of the uh, gallbladder, hits the food at the level of the intestine, and then it goes through the intestine, cleaning out the intestine, and does a return trip back to the liver, where the liver is responsible for processing it and breaking it down and clearing things out. If the bile uh, is not, if there's too much bile or the bile is too slow, Sludgy, the liver can't do its work of breaking things down. What ends up happening is some of that bile pigment can actually leak out into the blood, and you will see that as yellowing of the skin. That will appear as jaundice. Sometimes happens to babies when their liver is not, if they're born preemie and their liver is not functioning as well as it should. It happens when the liver starts to become pooped over time. It just can't clear out that bile. And it can also happen when bile is not eliminated properly. And there's actually a disease, a syndrome, uh, that is, uh, that, whose main characteristic is uh, bile pigment that uh, accumulates and results. We'll talk about all this on our next Bright Side episode. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the bright side we're on the air monday through friday 8 to 9 pacific 10 to 11 central time and 24 7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com also brightsideben.com time to hit the phones let's go to idaho and say good morning to shauna hey shauna what's up hey good morning ben thank you so much you're so amazing you reach out you help us so much how thank you. do we start teaching people the right way the body works i mean we rely on <laughs> Autumn uh, build, you know, and we take them to a mechanic. We always get a new one, but we can't get a new body. I don't know. To me, it's the most important thing to understand. Yeah, you know, you listen I on the radio. I know, I know. If you go on the radio or you listen on the internet, you hear all these, all of these radio shows where people screaming about the new world order and politics and Trump this and Obama that and Hillary this and blah 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 blah. To me, they, none of that even matters. What really matters right. is what our bodies are like. We should be studying our bodies every day, and it doesn't take a lot. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be a biologist. There's this, there's this myth out there, Shauna, that you got to study medicine. You got to be a doctor. People sometimes call me doctor. They just assume I'm a doctor because I know about the body. I, I'm not even that smart, <laughs> let alone I'm not you know, educated in these kinds of things. I went to pharmacy school. Let me tell you something about pharmacy school. Here, I'm gonna hate to burst people's bubbles about pharmacists. Probably some pharmacists are gonna be mad at me, but you don't really learn a lot about the way this stuff works in pharmacy school, although it's changing, I have to say. They're, they're starting to study more nutrition and they're start, uh, starting to emphasize more biology, but it's really just about drugs. You got to go out of your way to kind of see how the body works, whether you're a pharmacist or even if you're a doctor. Doctors don't really study how the body works. They study disease and they study diagnosis. And if they do, if a doctor does know how the body works, he's probably studied a lot of it on his own. And there are some, of course, there are some physicians who study stuff on their own or they do research on their own. But your typical MD or GP, you know, your general practitioner, doctor, he's trained in drugs and he's trained in diseases. And that's pretty much it. And if he has a specialist, a specialty, if he's a, a hernia guy or a knee guy or, you know, or a nose guy or a, a plastic surgeon, or whatever, he may know his specialty. But as a system, the body as a system eludes the practi most practitioners of the medical model. And it's true about pharmacists, and it's true about certainly it's true about lay people. And that's why I think this program is so darn important. And other programs like this, they're probably out there. Right. We're, we're, they don't Dr. talk Connelly about. You know, there's a lot of products like the, there's a lot of sales shows like this that sell you products. And, and I'm not right. talking about those. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about those shows where they really want you to dive into or help you dive in to what's happening in the body. And it's real easy now with YouTube. You know, you can get on YouTube and you can see all kinds of stuff. If you have a health problem, you go on YouTube and look it up. And, and I don't mean look it up just on the Internet where you read about it, but actually visually see it on YouTube. Visually see what happens to your gallbladder when your, gallbladder, when your bile is sludgy. 
visually see on YouTube what, what uh, a gallbladder crystallization is like or how the whole thing happens. And you got to be careful a little bit on the internet because there's, there's wrong information there too. But there's no excuse nowadays in the information age for not participating. We live in a, an age of information. It's almost like that's passe to say the information age yeah. because it started so long ago, you know, probably f- you know, 50 years ago. But now you can really leverage information. From the, I remember when I was doing research when I f- first graduated pharmacy school and I was, I was doing some writing, I was doing some research, I'd have to go to the library. I'd have to sit there and, and walk around with a yeah. card catalog <laughs> and writing things down and carrying a stack of books and, you know, going to the Xerox machine and copying things. Now you just sit in your comfort of your own living room or office, just punch a couple buttons and you get information about anything you want. There's no excuse not to understand the basics and we of can the body. A lot of that, right? Well, you got to wade through it. <laughs> you got to wade they through it. There's a lot of, bl- uh, you got to wade through it and you got to participate and you got to try things out and experiment. It's a jungle. It's an information war. As Alex says, it's an info war that's out there and you do have to treat it as such. Hey, I want to get to one more call before we go to our break. Okay, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. You are so amazing. Thank you. God bless you. I appreciate it. Okay. Take care. All right. Let's go to Randy in Washington state. Good morning, Randy. Welcome to the bright side. Good morning. Um, I recently discovered your program and I have been kind of like binge watching and listening to everything. And I think it's amazing. Um, How long ago? How long ago did you discover us? Um, about a month ago. And how did you discover us? Um, I was look, honestly, I was looking for a, um, the, like the perfect multivitamin, which led me to longevity, which led me to more information about you. And okay. so now I've found your program and nice. it's, it's been great. So, awesome. um, so my question is, um, I'm 35. I have been losing my hair since I was about 20 and I know okay. it's nutritional. And so yeah, well, uh, uh, to thyroid out- and estrogen, two hormones are involved, thyroid and estrogen hormone, probably yeah. stress hormones involved there too. And nutrition is involved as well. So yeah. the first thing you got to do is calm the F down. That's just the first thing you got to do. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude there, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can tell you, right. That's a classic sign of jacked up stress hormones uh, and low thyroid, poor thyroid functioning. Do you have weight issues at all? No. Do you no. have uh, any skin issues at all? Um, not you, some dry skin a little bit. Okay. Okay. How about cold, cold hands, feet, fingers, toes, that kind of thing? No, and I was on my thyroid medicine. Um, they said I had Hashimoto's, but then they, they weren't said totally blah, blah, sure. Blah. No, so, I'm telling you, you got a thyroid problem. It doesn't matter what it's called. Forget your diagnosis. You got a thyroid problem. Yeah. It's probably secondary to a gut problem, to a digestive problem. Work on your digestive system, especially fats. Okay. Especially fats and fatty vitamins. Use digestive enzymes, something called pancreatin. Just keep listening to all the stuff we're talking about here with bile. Make sure you're on essential fatty acids. Um, you might want to try something called pregnenolone. <clears throat> Excuse me, P R E G N E N O L O N E. 100 milligrams. You got to calm your body down because you're definitely hypothyroid. If you don't have weight issues now, you're young still. You're going to have weight issues soon. Uh, and uh, you want to really focus on the three hormones: estrogen. Uh, uh, cortisol and thy- uh, thyroid hormone and also f- insulin, I should say, four hormones. Those are the four places you want to work. All right, I wish I had more time, Randy, but thanks for the kind words and thank you for calling and feel free to call back and we can go into this a little bit more. All right, we're going to get Brian Larson on in our next segment. Water is... We are back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben, and we are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, and you can purchase our Truth Skin Health products, including our new Biomimetic Mineral Mist and our Truth Retinol 1% Gel, both new products, and we've got a couple new ones coming out here in um, maybe two weeks or so, a couple new cleansers. You can check out all our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so I am very excited to have our next guest on. Brian Larson is a healthcare professional and a businessman and a chemist and a lover of chemistry, and a lover of my favorite molecule, the C60 molecule, which has got really, really impressive uh, chemical um, chemical features and health benefits as well. Brian has formulated a product called Restore Pet, which takes advantage of C60. We're going to talk a little bit about this 
a fabulous C60 molecule, as well as Restore a Pet with Brian Larson. Please welcome Brian to the Bright Side. Good morning. How you doing, Brian? Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me, Pharmacist good. Brian. Yes, good to talk to you. So uh, you have an impressive CV. You're a healthcare professional and a business person. Why don't you, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about how, uh, start off with uh, with your background a little bit and then, sh- and then kind of uh, sag or morph into, uh, into uh, how you got into the, this awesome, incredible, magical molecule called C60, starting off with your, with your background. Yeah, so uh, I, I started out as a teenager in, in pharmacy. I was a pharmacy technician and, and went to school and studied chemistry and then later uh, actually became a nurse. And so I, com- I was combining kind of this love of um, helping people and, and understanding chemistry with uh, actually, I guess, a, a similar approach that, that you have, that kind of holistic view uh, of the human body. And um, You didn't buy the so, medical model, the, 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 law, the medical model no, propaganda? I mean, you know, and and I've, I've heard you say it. There are times when, uh, you know, you have an emergency. There are times when you need the medical model. But, uh, you know, I, I'm a huge uh, supporter of supplementation. I'm a huge supporter of taking your health into your own hands and, and uh, you know, really looking at yourself holistically and looking just beyond what a diagnosis might be and, and what your underlying causes are and I noticed that you know doctors weren't uh, weren't doing that. They they would come in and they'd give a diagnosis and they'd walk out and just kind of wash their hands of, of the situation. And um, sadly, I think that that's true of, of the veterinary world as well. And I had an epiphany. Um, uh, this is many years ago now. Uh, I had a dog that I uh, had had as an adolescent, and she got uh, arthritis pretty young, and she developed bone cancer shortly thereafter, and and she died pretty quickly. And it was a very uh, devastating uh, occurrence for me. And at the time, uh, I was working for a company that developed flavorings, the largest flavoring company in the world for pharmaceuticals and, and for supplements. And the uh, founder of that company and I um, had had a passion for research. And so that was when I first um, stumbled onto the C60 molecule, um, realized that it's this remarkably powerful antioxidant. Um, At the time, a lot of the understanding was very theoretical, but we knew that it was this really special molecule. And so I kind of combined those two loves, um, the, the... passion that I had for that holistic view of care uh, with the sort of uh, realization that there was nothing particularly on the veterinary market, no supplement um, that was really changing the game, that was actually having a visible improvement uh, in quality of life, working at the cellular level to make a difference and actually help these pets. And C60 is that molecule? C60 is that molecule, yeah. And, what is and C60? So, what, for the uninitiated, you, you know, you and I have talked about C60. I've told you about my love. In fact, you're the first person I, I ever met that loved the molecule as much as I did. And I first yeah. heard about it a few years ago. Uh, and that's why I got so excited when uh, our mutual friend Bruce introduced us. Uh, but tell for the listeners, what, it, what exactly is C60? Yeah, so at, at a very high level, very simply stated, all it is, is carbon atoms that are just connected in a very unique structure. The structure kind of looks like... uh, That's putting it mildly, very unique. That's putting it mildly. It's the most incredible structure in all of it. I I encourage people to do a Google search on the image of of, uh, C60, also known as buckyballs. So go ahead. I'm I'm sorry. It's just a... You're saying it's the structure that gives it this amazing function, right? It is. And, and so as an antioxidant, what that means is, you know, these, these carbon atoms are ready to accept the electrons from a free radical. They're able to neutralize that free radical and to stop that, that cellular degradation, that DNA degradation that takes place in, in every one of the parts of our cell, in every one of those organelles. And so it, it, it's not only able to neutralize so many of these um, of these free radicals, um, but it's it's working synergistically with other antioxidants, and so that's what sort of makes our product unique is that we've developed multiple um, other antioxidants, and we've encased this C60 molecule um, in a unique um, fatty acid that it's surrounded by, and that's able to allow it to cross through the cell membrane. So, you know, at a high level. It's a very simple chemical structure, but as you said, it's remarkable. It is incredibly powerful. The effects that it has are, are incredible. They're visible. 
Um, and, and is so, it fair to say? Is it fair to say it's the most powerful antioxidant there is? Absolutely. I mean, I, I use uh, one term to describe it, and that's super antioxidant. Mm-hmm. I really believe even the other antioxidants. That they're, all are in the store effect, they're all important. They're all important. But, but what is Absolutely, what? Kind, for, but they're on a different level. Yeah, they're on a different. This is like a like a quantum leap, the next level of antioxidants. I can't think of one that is even close to it, even like vitamin C or something like that. So, so now you so you you got this molecule. You got I, I fascinated. I wish I had time to hear how you got, found out about the molecule. I mean, it's not exactly well known, although it's becoming more and more well known. Uh, but how did you? What made you think of putting it into a pet? Uh, use this particular molecule in a pet product. Nobody else is doing yeah. it. Nobody else thought of it. No, that's it's true. So, uh, I, again, I, I think that I saw this market opportunity because nobody had a quality pet supplement, one that was based mm. on research, one that was based on science, one that was going to make a difference. Um, and we were just expanding at the time at, at the company that I was working for with my, uh, you know, my later business partner uh, on a veterinary division. We were expanding this um, flavoring to the veterinary world, and we were finding that. Um, Dogs were were dying uh, uh, because there are some life-saving medications, of course, that you need to take. Uh, These dogs had uh, terrible seizure disorders that were just ingrained, and you know it wasn't going to go away. And they needed to take their their phenobarbital or whatever different medication, and they weren't taking it because it tasted so bad. And we developed flavorings, and Mm -hmm. so that expanded into you know we can actually develop a product that's really going to make a difference. Uh, and and it took years. Uh, it was very difficult. As simple as the molecule is, it's difficult to work with. Mm-hmm. It was difficult to find it that uh, it would get to a way where it could actually penetrate the cell. And uh, you know, but but now all these years later, we did it. It's been on the market for about five years, and we've got thousands thousands of pets that are on the product. And it's just tremendous to see these these pets that are. At What's the name of the product? Tell, the name of the product. It's restore pet. Restore it at R E S T O R A P E T. Restore it. And, and the website? RestorePet.com slash Ben Trial. We're offering it for free to your listeners. Oh, awesome. Restore a pet slash forward slash Ben Trial. Yep, RestorePet.com okay, slash Ben Trial. We got to take a break, Brian. We come back. I want to hear all the details about uh, Restore a Pet, this uh, pet rejuvenating supplement made with C60 Buckyballs. Broadcast. Back on the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Brian Larson about uh, Restore Pet. Brian, our last segment here, let me just ask you uh, some questions, and then you just you just take the ball and run with it. I want to know what's in Restore Pet. I want to know who needs Restore Pet. I want to know why they need Restore Pet, and then how they get Restore Pet. Yeah, absolutely. So um, what's in Restore Pet? So it's got the, the C60, and we have a, a unique way, a patent-pending way that we work with it. Um, so it's called Vitalitrol, our, our special version of that. And it's, that's the super antioxidant that we talked about. In addition to that, it's got the complete uh, vitamin E, all eight isomers of vitamin E, uh, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, which are fantastic uh, for pets. It's got CoQ10 in a therapeutic dose. Uh, and it's got lutein and zeaxanthin, um, other antioxidants, particularly for ocular health. Um, Adam, why did you use those, the CoQ? Sorry, why did you use the CoQ10? I didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, that's why okay. the CoQ10? Uh, yes. So, so there's a lot of um, studies that have been done on pets. This is something that actually is available um, quite, quite um, frequently. You'll find in pet supplements one of the only ingredients that works that's on the market by itself. Um, that it's being used in in dogs and cats, and they're using it as a, a anti-inflammatory kind of a, an anti-aging uh, supplement. The problem is by itself uh, in pets, it, it doesn't work to its full potential. So um, we, the way that we use it, uh, that that dose is working synergistically with the other antioxidants, um, and so the effects that uh, a pet owner is going to notice uh, with Restore Pet. It's going to um, decrease pain, decrease inflammation. Um, it's going to increase uh, energy, improve immune function, um, protection of vital organs. I mean, it's it's um, it's a really really remarkable supplement. Uh, and so, who needs Restore a Pet? Um, older pets, dogs, cats, horses, rabbits, um, small mammals, um, will see these really 
remarkable visible improvements in quality of life. We have hundreds of testimonials. We have video testimonials um, that are on YouTube and on our on our social media pages, and I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but these these dogs that have hip dysplasia and arthritis and are limping that are able to run again for the first time in in years in some cases um, because of the Restore a Pet. Um, younger pets, um, you know, it's it's a supplement supplement that helps maintain wellness. So um, it's a it's a popular kind of phrase, but something that we talk about and really believe in is that it not only adds kind of years to a pet's life, but it adds life to their years. And we have had, uh, you know, for in the five years that it's been on the market, we've got thousands of pets that, um, you know, it's, it's really a game changer for puppies, them. So, puppies and kittens and little, like, like uh, young, young animals as well as old animals benefit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You're going to see the most visible improvements uh, in, you know, in, in an older pet that's, that's symptomatic. They're showing the decline, the aging decline that, um, you know, especially humans that aren't uh, able to take care of themselves the way they should, you know, uh, experience as well. The, that's just the slowing down and, and the arthritis and the sore joints. Pets get that too. And, and people don't realize it's, it's a tremendous decrease in their quality of life. Why can't humans take it? Uh, so, so we're actually um, introducing a human product on the market uh, in uh, later this year. Um, it, it's it's absolutely humans can. Um, I, I definitely have uh, received plenty of questions from, uh, we'll just say, you know, 150 or 200 pound uh, pets, quote unquote. Um, we we wanted to market this product to the the pet industry that that really was. Um, you know, where I kind of had this epiphany and, and felt that there was an opportunity. But, you know, my background is was originally in healthcare for humans, that holistic view of, of healthcare, pharmacy, and then later nursing. So uh, I have a tremendous passion there, and, and we'll definitely be introducing the human product. And what made you think of using all eight isomers of vitamin E as opposed to just alpha tocopherol? Yeah, so... Which is what um, most, you know, that's what most supplements have, is just the alpha tocopherol, right? It, it does, yes. Uh, most supplements are using that because it's it's the least expensive. Um, we wanted to use all eight isomers because uh, there's some evidence to show that taking too much of just the one isomer can cause an imbalance mm. of the others, and you need to have that complete picture. I mean, it's it's uh, for all intents and purposes, I think that they should have. Uh, you know, eight different names. People shouldn't just think of vitamin E like vitamin E. They should think right. of it as, you know, vitamin E1, T, that kind of thing. The alpha, you know, delta, it, you need the entire spectrum, and we offer that in Restore Pit. You should be marketing it as a skin supplement, by the way, because all this stuff is great for the skin, the vitamin E and the lutein and the zeaxanthin and the omega fats. Those are all great skin supplements. Now, it's, it's absolutely true. So we, we do have pet owners that use it um, when they've got a pet that develops a dermatitis, and, mm -hmm. and it, it's remarkable in, in the way that it improves the healing process. Um, but, you know, using it uh, both topically and taking it, you know, uh, by mouth, um, it's very simple to administer. It's, it's just mixed um, with, you know, a pet's preferred food just once a day. Um, the dosing is right on the side. It's, it's based on weight. Very simple, calibrated dropper. Uh, so, you know, it couldn't be easier to give um, some, some, a lot of pets, in fact, prefer it uh, like it's a treat because we offer it in bacon flavor, beef flavor, mm. uh, and an unflavored variety uh, just based on, you know, what, what a pet might prefer. I, how about uh, wound healing? Have you experimented? You mentioned topically. I was about to ask you that. But how about for healing, like wounds and burns and that kind of thing? Have you experimented that way? It seems like Absolutely. it would have an, Yeah? It seems yeah, like it would benefit there. Absolutely, yeah. So, so I mean, we've had um, as, as long as obviously the you know the the skin is if it's immediately after a surgery and you've got an open wound, then of course that's that's not a great idea. But um, we've we've seen anecdotally uh, some you know cellular turnover related to scar repair, uh, and, and um, it's it's incredible to see the granulation tissue come in that much faster, mm. and and so. Um, we, it's only been, you know, anecdotal that we've had a handful of cases where people have used it that way, but we've had, um, you know, a pet that had uh, a surgery and they've used it on one side, one, one scar, they had like bilateral uh, knee repair or something. And they, they've used it on the left side and not on the right side. And you see the difference. I, mean, it, I can it, see that. I can see that also for the sun. It seems like it would be protective against sunburn or, or it could help heal sunburn, but the vitamin absolutely, E. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Yeah. If, so vi- ordinarily, vitamin E, ordinarily, actually, all of these are stored in the skin. Now that I notice that vitamin E is stored in the skin, the omegas are stored in the skin, coenzyme stored in the skin, coenzyme Q10, and then the lutein and the zeaxanthin. And so, what is the what is the what are the buckyballs or the f- fullerenes or the C60 or the vitalitrol? How does that relate to all of these active ingredients? Yeah. So, I mean, in in the sense that all except the omega three and the omega six fatty acids are antioxidants. Um, you know, it, they they all work together. I mean, that, that's the synergistic relationship of what en- ends up being the 12 antioxidants. Um, you know, what it does is it, it really carries um, through the the um, oleic acid and the fatty acids that encase that C60 molecule. It carries it right through the cell membrane. And so it's like so a delivery mechanism. It's a delivery it's a, system. Exa- exactly. And and in fact. Um, Various different kinds, unrelated kinds of carbon atoms are being studied in nanotubes um, as a delivery mechanism yeah. for, you know, various different substances. So, it, it, you know, it, it really does carry, but it works, you know, on its own as an antioxidant. And, and it's amazing that um, it recycles. So it's neutralizing these free radicals and never becoming uh, oh my a free goodness. radical itself. So it's not so really that, a scavenger. A, it's not really like an ordinary antioxidant, uh, ordinary antioxidant that needs to be, that needs to be uh, 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 protected again after it's used up. It needs to have a, a proton added to it or an electron added to it, I should say, uh, afterwards. Exactly. So this one doesn't exactly. have to. That's pretty right. cool. And that's what makes it the super antioxidant. Oh, that that's really fact, cool. That it, I didn't know it's that. It's not only able to neutralize more, but that it has a recycling effect that allows oh my goodness. it to continue to neutralize free radicals. It's like an it's enzyme. A, it's a remarkable it, thing. It's like an antioxidant yeah. enzyme. Exactly. Oh, that is awesome. I didn't know that. Okay, give the website again. I'm sure we, yeah, people are going to yeah. want to use that. Yeah. So we're offering it um, to, to your listeners. We're doing a, a free trial. It's, I think it's a 99-cent shipping-only cost, so we pay for the entire first bottle. It's RestoraPet.com, so R-E-S-T-O-R-A-P-E-T.com slash Ben Trial, B-E-N-T-R-I-A-L, RestoraPet.com slash Ben trial. And you can see some videos on there. You can see, you know, some pictures, more information. Uh, you know, you can find it on YouTube. There, there really are some, some really compelling before and afters. Uh, you know, you can see it firsthand, these pets that are just not doing well, and they have a total turnaround with the Restore Pet. That is highly impressive, Brian. I'm glad you came on the show. So I want to talk to you again yeah. soon. Um, I'll probably yeah, give you a call you sometime so much, this Brian. weekend. Thank you so much, Brian. That's awesome. All right. That was Brian Larson of RestorePet, RestorePet.com. Uh, oh, I forgot what the, I forgot what he slash, said at the front. Slash Ben Trial. Slash Ben Trial. RestorePet.com slash forward slash Ben Trial. RestorePet.com forward slash Ben Trial. You get a free jug, a free bottle of RestorePet. And I personally think you should take it yourself. It sounds like an awesome supplement. I don't know of any reason why you wouldn't take it yourself. In fact, I'm going to start taking it myself. RestorePet.com forward slash Ben Trial. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. 